Hey there Pacific Rim fans, this is Wesatron, and I am very excited to bring you NECA's new Pacific Rim Series, what, 2 I think? Cherno, no, Series 3, Cherno Alpha action figure. Very excited to have this figure, and let's just jump right in by saying they have drastically improved the articulation on these figures. As you can see, it's not perfect, mind. But he is actually pulling off the Iron Man at a Granov pose. Very, very, very cool. Very slick. Um, this figure is awesome. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this figure. I am one among them. And I am not disappointed. Um, there are, of course, always going to be things that you like and dislike. But overall, this figure is really, really cool, guys. I really dig it. Now, let me get them all straightened up here. And let me just pop up. There we go. Um, articulation wise, they have done a lot of cool things here. I was very surprised to find out that they actually added a uh, head joint here. It feels like there might be a little bit of a ball there, but primarily you just get a little bit of swivel either way. Very cool. Double ball jointed shoulders means very cool things. There is no swivel in the biceps, but it doesn't become much of a problem because we've got such great range here. Of course, we've got out to the side and down and around and everything. You know, no big deal is blocked a little bit by the head so you can't go you know all the way around but because of the interior ball joint here and the exterior giving it a little bit of extra range you can turn that arm in you can turn it out you can get all kinds of great range out of this arm it is awesome they did a really really good job there without having to break up the sculpt at all which i know neck always really likes to avoid if possible we've got hinges in the elbows which gets you just under 90 degrees uh, swivel just below the elbow so you can get the arm all the way around. We've got the uh, uh, ejection here on the side so he can do his uh, punch maneuver. I don't know if it's actually got a name or anything. A lot of times uh, robot movies they have names for their maneuvers. But uh, it actually clumps up pretty good and then uh, shoots out and you can see the little uh, pistons here and everything. And then we've got hinges on the fingers themselves so they can go in and out. Not a big deal, but it's a neat little uh, addition that they put in. Uh, we've got ball joint in the waist, so we got really, really nice range of motion there. And of course, rotation as well. Good, good side to side and everything. Swivel hinges in the hips, which uh, because of the design of the hips actually gives them quite a range of motion. Uh, we don't have the issue with the plates going too high or anything, so it blocks stuff like on Gypsy Danger. So he can get pretty far out on his splits. His, arm, his legs can also go really far in, which is cool. The only thing I really would have thought would be neat would be to have uh, swivels up here. But because of the range of these, it actually doesn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. I mean, you can see that the uh, Iron Man pose got pulled off very, very well. He's got these excellent single hinge knee joints. The reason I say they're excellent is because they designed them so that they could go way far back. Almost a double hinge range, which is really, really cool. And then we've got a hinge in the ankles, which goes forward crazy far and back very far as well very cool and then a huge huge ball joint right in the ankle so he can go really far in out it aids in the going forward and back his feet are crazy poseable like you can get him all the way wide stance like that and both feet are going to sit flat on the ground totally awesome like that is really really cool i love that he just ah this is an awesome figure. Um, so yeah, we've looked at the articulation. Let's zoom in a little bit and check out some of these details. Here we are zoomed in and you can see they've done a lot of really nice paint work on Cherno Alpha as well. Uh, up here we have a shot of uh, Cherno Alpha and then I think it's the same thing written in Russian. Um, we've got uh, the uh, symbol USF66 maybe? It's hard to see. I think there's a number there. Uh, and all kinds of little writing here. It looks like um, kind of the professional Gundam models that are done. All kinds of little writing everywhere. Again, Channel Alpha. We've got the star and flags here. Or star and wings, excuse me. Um, on the back, we've got uh, 806 ZQ, maybe. Uh, on the top, we've got this really, really great... It looks like the top of a um, uh, nuclear power plant. Uh, like smokestacks and stuff. The back is done with this really, really nice gunmetal on a lot of the details. And of course, the whole figure is kind of got this pearlescent kind of uh, paint to it, so it's got a little metal flake maybe in it. But on top of that, they've kind of gone over it with a little bit of a wash to make it look kind of dirty and dingy. It looks really good. Vents on the back of the arm. Really, really nice detail work overall. Oh, and I mentioned that his arms can pop out, and you can see the pistons inside. There they are. Very, very cool. And when you close those up, 
uh, it actually looks pretty good everything lines up pretty well so uh, very 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 nice job there uh, on the front we've got more of those uh, kind of vent looking things maybe this is the cockpit perhaps I'm not really sure there uh, but very cool um, we've got wires going from the hips back here sorry I was up a little bit uh, more vents here on the legs just outstanding this thing is just really really monstrous it's, it's massive it just looks like a powerhouse of pain I really 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 like this figure um, I like it so much I almost wish there was a prequel to Pacific Rim instead of worrying about there being a sequel because I would love to see more action from this guy because I don't think he got enough love in the movie so finally we have to talk about value and I have to say I love this figure I really really do um, it seems like they've upped the price on these a little bit because of the cost of uh, engineering and the general size of them. Um, I haven't seen it in store, so I don't know if that's going to carry over, if these will still be $15 or $17 range, but I believe I paid $20 uh, for Cherno Alpha. But I would expect to pay between uh, probably $17 and $25 for this figure, and I think it's a really, really cool solid buy. Um, especially if you're a fan of giant monsters, the SH Monster Arts line, that sort of thing, he's going to fit in pretty well with that. Um, just so you can see here, uh, six inch Luke, so you get an idea there, and uh, here's just a standard seven inch Windrix, so you can see, it's a bigger figure. Um, the whole line, of course, is a little bit scaled up, um, but they're trying to get better with being in scale to each other. Um, over here you've got uh, Axe Head, just so you guys can see how big he's going to be compared to the new monsters, or new Kaiju, I guess I should say. But yeah. Between uh, 20 and 25 bucks would be your uh, probably most likely range, but if TRU is cool, maybe they'll carry him for a lot cheaper and you'll be able to get this guy on your shelf for like 17 which would be awesome. So that's pretty much it for this review. Um, if you have any more questions at all, please uh, ask away. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have. Um, you know, when we get going on these, sometimes we gloss over things. So let me know if there's anything you would like to know about, or uh, let me know if you're interested in this figure, or if you weren't before, if you are now, because I think he's a great figure, and I would really like to see you guys have him on your shelves to combat all your SH Monster Arts and your other Kaiju. And hey, if you want to, you could even set him up against your um, other Jaegers, which would be really awesome. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Appreciate your views, comments, or appreciate subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Really, really, really like to see the uh, interaction on the video so thank you i'll talk to you guys later see you later bye